launch and receive cables are clean. It's very important that they're clean because if they're not, that you could contaminate your device under test. There we show a big particle on the fiber. So that we're going to go ahead and clean that off. And that looks good to go. The next step for testing um, is the referencing. Uh, it's really important to understand that we at Alliance we test at 1310 and 1550 as the windows for the wavelengths. Uh, we feel it's important that you test at both wavelengths. In case you have a problem in the field, if it passes on one wavelength and it doesn't pass on the other, you might have a bend, either a macro bend or a micro bend in your cable plant and it will be easier to troubleshoot. So right now we're going to go ahead and reference the meter. This is the fast test and we want less than a dB for our reference. We're at .27 at 1310 and we're at .45 for 1550, so that's good to go. Now what we want to do next is we want to make sure that our reference cables are close or at zero. So we're going to go ahead and test our reference cables. And the results A to B at 1310 at dot zero, zero. B to A, dot zero, zero. For 1550, we're at dot zero, one and dot zero, zero. Very good. We're all set to go. The next step in the process is we're going to test our device under test. Here we have a one pair hybrid jumper. First thing we're going to do is look at the reference cables and make sure that they're good. We have to make sure that they're clean and ready to use so we don't contaminate the uh, installed fiber. Here we're using the uh, solvent. I prefer the solvents over the alcohol as alcohol tend to uh, leave a residue where the solvents don't. And then we're going to follow it up with a clean with the NTT cleaner. Check the fiber and that looks good. We're going to check the device under test. Make sure there's no contaminants. That fiber looks good and ready to test. Look at the receive cable, make sure that it's good. That looks good, ready to test. Device under test looks good. So we have to make sure that the launch and receive cables correspond. So we see the jumper has numbers here. We have one here. We have one on the far end. So we have our launch and receive cables both on one. We're going to go ahead and do our fast test. This is going to calculate our insertion loss and return loss at the same time. We'll check our results. At 1310, from A to B is dot two five. From B to A is dot two one. At 1550, it's dot A to B, and B to A is also dot We'll check our return loss at 1310. From B to A is 53.31. From B to A is 53.72. At 1550. Uh, a to B is 54.89 and from B to A is 54.66. The current requirement in, internally to Alliance now is .35 per mated pair and 46 on return loss. So these are well within specification. So that's the basic steps for uh, insertion loss and return loss testing. 80% of all network failures are because of dirty connectors. So we can't stress enough to inspect your connectors, make sure they're clean and ready to use. And if they're damaged, please replace the leads. Don't use them.
Another key point, understand your test equipment. If you're not happen to use the Expo units like we have here, read your user manuals and understand the test equipment to make sure you're getting true and accurate readings. Thank you all for watching.